Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you how to take this sexy boy and convert it from Blender to ROS and also how to use it in Gazebo and how to put it into Cura complete with all the collision models, completely auto-generated. Yeah, that's our plan for today. We will use the Blender plugin Phobos for that that has been developed by the German Research Center for Artificial Intelligence at the University of Bremen and since I was kind of struggling with it, uh, I thought I'd give you a tutorial because at first it's kind of hard to get into it. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, first of all we have to download Phobos from the GitHub page. Um, this is the link, I will put it into the description. And what you do is just um, you get the link from here, you go into your terminal, and then you just say git clone and then the link. I already did that, um, but yeah, you just press enter here and it will download that for you. Um, then you can go into the add on folder and there will be your forwards. Now, when you move down here on the GitHub page, you will find the installation instructions. Um, no, don't worry, I will go through them with you. But uh, one thing that's important here is that um, they say that you need to use Blender version 2.79b. Uh, when you're in Blender, you can go into Help, then to Splash screen, and there you will find your Blender version. If you don't have that Blender version, you most likely have to change. It will probably not work with another version. Uh, I put a link into the description where you can download the correct Blender version, 2.79b. Now another thing that you have to know is that we will soon run a setup script with Python and um, on their GitHub page they say you only need some kind of Python version um, that is higher than 3. Uh, if you look into the setup script they actually specifically mention that you have to use Python 3.5. Um, I did have some problems when not using the right Python version, but I'm not 100% sure if it was related to that. But in this case, I would go the safe route and use Python 3.5. To use Python 3.5, I created a Conda environment. You might say that Conda is overkill here, but I like the way it operates. I will briefly introduce how to do that. Uh, so first you have to download Anaconda. I put a link into the description. Um, basically, you just um, uh, download the installer and run it, and um, then you run uh, conda create dash n, and then you give your environment name, and then you specify your Python version that you want, in this case 3.5, and after that you have to activate your environment, and as you can see, now you have the correct Python version, and this is not your system Python version anymore. Now you can go into your Phobos folder again and check out the correct branch. At the point of recording this, this is uh, the branch release 1.0. And after that you can start to run the setup.py. So write Python 3 setup.py and the setup will ask you where your blender is installed. In my case it's installed here, in your case it might be somewhere else. So paste the correct path and then it will install the add-on into Blender for you. Now in order to activate Phobos in Blender, go to File, User Preferences, then in the add-ons tab search for Phobos and there you should find it now. Um, just click on the little icon and activate it like that. Um, I have to say this is a step where I had some problems. Um, sometimes it would give me error messages. Uh, Sometimes I just restart the Blender and it suddenly worked, or I, I tried again, or I'm not sure here exactly. At some point it just started to work and I'm not sure anymore why exactly. So maybe keep trying around here if you're, if you're stuck, um, or open an issue on the GitHub page or something. Um, yeah, but as you can see now we have the plugin enabled, and our next step is to prepare our robot for the export. This will be done in part 2, so see you there. 